Welcome to the MicroFocus Identity and Access Management video series. I'm Kent Purdy, Product Marketing Manager for Access Management. And I'm Paul McKeith, Identity and Access Management Specialist. For this video in our series, we're going to show off the SSO portal. You know, we have plenty of customers, that Access Manager customers, use their own portal, but there's times when that's just plain overkill. Paul is going to show us how easy it is to set up a portal that's built into Access Manager. Yeah, in fact, I think I know of a company that actually uses this all the time. It's us, and lots of other ones, of course. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you an example of more of what well, more commonplace. In other videos, we've shown how you uh, actually see what we see inside and how we use it. So make sure you pay attention to those as well. So I'm going to jump over here to a, a, just a simple desktop, any type of desktop or anything with a browser. And I'm going to go ahead and click on our single sign-in access portal that's built into Access Manager. As Kent said, it's built in, but it doesn't necessarily have to be your entry point to using uh, Access Manager as a hybrid solution where we're getting access not only to cloud applications, but all, also internal on-prem applications as well. And we don't work for our Utopia Corp either, Paul. <laughs> no, we don't, Kent. Uh, this is, uh, the reason this isn't familiar, Tim, we just talked about us using it, is this is a custom login page that was just added. Uh, this isn't the default, but we do provide a set of defaults that you can then manage brand and, and do easily and make this look like anything you would like, and which is commonplace. It's, it's very rare for uh, customers to, to use any of our out-of-the-box um, login pages or other types of things, like you'll see that next. So let me go ahead and log in here as our demo user, uh, Kevin Chester, and here's our end resulting portal. Yep. In our mobile access video, we also talk about how we can make this look really good and attractive on this mobile device for you too, so make sure you check that out. Now here, based on my role as, a, as Kevin Chester, in my particular role, I've got a set of icons. So these are role-based access control icons. You'll see that there's a mix of types of applications here. Uh, maybe some internally developed applications like Utopia Corp, right? right? Kevin works for Utopia Corp. So Utopia Corp has their own intranet portal. So I can get a single sign-in experience there and we'll, we'll go ahead and we'll hit that guy right now for a second. That's a homegrown application, it can be anything, any type of web app. There's no requirements on our side to get you access into this application. There's some neat stuff that we do for that application that we'll come back to. So then we also have some single sign-in experiences that we can provide you as well. In fact, all of these are single sign-in experiences. Salesforce, ServiceNow, uh, SharePoint on-prem in this case. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll start that guy out as well. And there, the reason there were two SharePoint icons there, Kent, is we can integrate with SharePoint two ways. And, and this is one of them. So you can see we're in here as Kevin Chester. Nice single sign-on. Let's go back to our, whoops, let's go back to our, our portal page. I can also get into Outlook Web Access, yeah. uh, you know, another web interface on-prem. And once again, we're going to start up Outlook Web Access, and I'm Kevin Chester. Look like you have a question there. Well, okay. you can get to any application that Access Manager can get to, that you can, right? It's, That's it's managed, right. If it's managed with Access Manager, you can stick it on the SSO portal and give one touch access. Exactly. I mean, they right. could be even, that. we can even add icons on there that are nothing more than uh, a bookmark to something that you don't require an authentication. Right. But because these did require authentication, I could even start in this application first, end up here or end up in the application and have single sign on to the next applications I go to. But sometimes there's an application that's so sensitive that we, you know, username and password or even desktop single sign-in where as long as I'm a member of the domain, I just get in, you never see it. it makes for real boring demos. So I never show that, you know, in these kinds of demos right. because you don't see anything happen. You just get access. So instead, I kind of layer this a little bit with another set of our videos that we talk about how to do this and, and the features in risk-based authentication or adaptive authentication. So what if we started saying that maybe there's an application here that's of more sensitive nature? I just use username and password, but what if we're using Office 365, not for mail, but for maybe one of their other services that they have? Right. Teaming, Teams, whatever kinds of things are doing. Whatever, there. yeah. So what if I clicked on that? Well, looky there. Access Manager remembers in Frontier, and it's saying I need a second factor of authentication before I'm going to allow Paul, or I'm sorry, Kevin, to get access to this. These are a number of different mechanisms that we can provide. These mechanisms are provided by our own advanced authentication service that's pre-integrated with Access Manager. So I can choose any one of these. 
Everybody has seen SMS in the past. Most people maybe even have seen a smartphone, even though that one's included. TOTP is a fancy word for things like Google Authenticator, Microsoft Authenticator, blah, blah, blah. Uh, we can do security questions, not super secure, but it's available. We can send an email over OTP, another feature in one of our other videos as well. Uh, the LDAP password, you know, kind of dis um, disregard that one because normally we wouldn't provide that one for this type of use case, but this is for demo purposes. I like this one. This one's kind of neat. So this one's called Voice Call, and it's going to involve my personal phone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this guy over here, and you're going to see this. Uh, actually, I need to click that first. So I'm going to click Voice Call and watch my phone. It's going to get my phone call. Okay, so hopefully you can hear that. I'm going to go ahead and answer that call. You'll see it on the screen here. West is log. I was slow on my speakerphone there, but it's prompting me to put in my pre-enrolled PIN. Super secret one there, guys. Don't worry, I don't use it for anything else. Success. Now continue your login. And notice, as soon as it said success and continue to log in, my phone is now hung up, I'm done. And lo and behold, I'm in Office 365 now. Yeah. And if you don't completely believe me, then you can see I'm Kevin Chester right here inside of That's Office cool. 365. So, so built in uh, 2FA as well. Built in 2FA, and I can do this for Office 365. I can apply that rule to any of the other applications that we had anywhere on this portal. So you've talked a lot about what it can do with the One Touch Access. Can we talk a little bit about how to make it look different here, right? We, we can configure the tiles, we can change the color, the banner, the, the, the branding. What, how can a user, how can the administrator as well as a user customize that portal? So the first thing that I think the user is the most important in most worlds, right? So the first thing you can do is you can actually create a subset of these as favorites. And we showed this in our mobile access demo as well, so that you may have a big, huge, long page of these, right? And you don't want to see them all all the time, just right. a few of the applications as you I've actually heard of customers with hundreds. <laughs> yes, in fact, unfortunately, we happen to be one of those. And that's why this favorites is actually a really important thing for us as well. So with that, what you can do is you can, the star on here is how you can star these and me personally associate particular ones for me so that now they appear in this favorites tab. Right. Now, also, remember, we're part of Utopia Corp. Well, it's no accident that our login page says Utopia Corp. And we can easily brand this as well. Now, this is super, super easy. In our administration console, you, all I had to do for this is import a graphic for the, for the logo that we had and then add in this. Again, though, you can choose any entry point. You don't even have to use this if you don't want to, but it tends to be a really nice, easy, quick, very familiar, especially if you use mobile access, way for people to get in. The last one, I forgot to click on service now. So here's just one other example of a, uh, a single sign-in experience with a cloud application going into Kevin Chester. Very cool. How about the, the tiles themselves? Let's say I wanna, I wanna put more tiles on a page, less. Yeah, that, those are, that's something in the administration console to, to do that. Or to configure the size of them. And to configure the size, and th that's a good point. So I traditionally leave it here. So you can go and change, oh, sorry, change there your we're... view of these particular ones. This one's nice, the small view, because there's a little bit of hints on, and help from the, maybe a help desk uh, URL, whatever the, your administrators would like to add in there to describe what these things so you are. Can, you can do an icon or you can do a, a, a tile with full description, whatever. Whatever the user wants. Yep. Yeah, exactly. So, I mean, you can, uh, you know, and then we can keep on. Uh, we'll go back to this one. We can go all the way down to the simple view. This will look very, you know, it's not my favorite right. view. But this one's actually pretty decent. I like the small detail and the small right. icon view. Yep, cool. Once you get used to the icons, right, in the mobile world, that's what people will gravitate to anyway. And right. then it'll look almost exactly as it does on your mobile access app that we give you with Access Manager as well. Well, thanks so much, Paul. That's a cool demo. You're welcome, Ken. If you want to learn more about Access Manager's SSO portal, please go ahead to uh, the Access Manager product page. Meantime, please take time out to look at our other videos as well.